Well, here we are on build day one. And um, framing. I've got a, a bottom, a top. I'm going to use this scabby bit for uprights, and there's a piece for the back. And these three pieces are going to form the L shape that pulls forwards to extend the bed from this white tape mark here to there. It's only coming about 18 inches, of which 36 or whatever. Um, that's not even 36. But um, yeah, storage tubs to go under the bed, and I don't want this high, too high. The most height I want is to be to the top of this arch, um, otherwise it wouldn't be possible to, you know, really get into here without removing the bed, and I don't want to be into that. I don't mind taking the cushions off to get into there for a tow rope or anything, but I don't want to have to take the bed out. Um, it's bad enough if you need a tow. So, he says, out of breath with his cold and throw one. All that kind of BS that's going around at the minute. So, this on top of here, this on top of there, and um, then stick that on there. Scribe under it with a pen, which I've already prescribed, and then chop it about a centimetre bigger so that there's just wobble space to pull this in and out, and it should fit got me one of these things and if you stick it on there it helps you drill nice green holes I admit I'm not very good with these things but I do know you stick some glue down hole and you put one of them in and hit it with hammer and it goes in and then you do the same with your other bit that goes on top and here's one I made earlier and it does seem to be kind of stuck together, but I'm not 100% convinced, so I'm going to take a, a skinny drill, drill through, and then I'm going to come up from the bottom with a screw, so it's going to be dowelled, grilled, and screwed. So, yeah. One is none, as they say. This has got three, so that must be as good as two. I've got enough screws to see me through, I think. I've got enough dowels, I've got a bag of hundred. And I'm only joining right like four bits of wood, so I should be covered. I've just got out the second drill, so I don't keep having to swap drill bits, and there's a third just in case, but whenever you're using drills next to your head, they make quite a bit of noise, so safety first. Don't forget earplugs. If you're using these, Come in handy. So there we are. Two dowels, grow, and a screw. Um, I think that's going to stay, stay where I put it. Bloody better do. Well, there's the front piece finished. I've just got to join it to the back piece now, and put some down and back bits. So another one, two, three, four pieces to joint in, and then we've got a good tough L shape that can pull out over the top of the, the inner section. Oh, what's the chance that my, my bent piece of wood fits the curve of the van? Well, I've shut my boot to uh, see that I can shut my boot. And by only going up to there, I've got a bit of a gap. Not too worried about a bit of a gap. Um, I didn't want much of a gap, but if I had no gap, then you've got a, a trapping hazard. Although now you've got an hazard that your pen can go missing like when it falls off the end of your desk. So, this is here where it's going to stay. There's my marker for the back, I've chopped it now down to size, which means where I've fitted these to go across to there, there's now nowhere for them to go, if you follow that in a straight line. Um, so I'm either going to have to use a piece of wood that's angled, but then I don't know how I cut these holes in that wood 
when it's angled or I just chop them off so there's no holes put two more here and go from here across and then that bit sticks out a bit but we'll see that's a nice 90 degree straight corner the bottom one will be 90 degrees and the the upright will be 90 as well so they're the easy side this is the side that's going to be a pain in the backside well we're getting there but now you can see why wood pisses me off because if i were doing this in 20 or 25 mil box steel i could weld that and it'll be as well as strong as any other bit of it but i can't kind of put dowels through there because i've got dowels in here I can't put a screw through there because I've got screws coming up through here and they'd hit the dowels. I mean, everything is just going to smash into everything else. It's it's just no uh, wood. Can't stand the stuff. Well, a bit darker than when I started out here. But, end of day one. We've got the bottom bit. I couldn't put a divider in there. Um, it's not a multi pour three tub whips anymore. It was when you went from the outside of the tape measurement, but then the outside of the tape measurement didn't coincide with the back of the chair measurement. As you can see, there's still space there, which I don't have up here, but. We're in, it goes in up to its line that it's sat on down here. Uh, this corner's odd, but that's because that's the shape of the van and I had to square it off. But when the board goes on, the board at the, the, board at the top will be cut to that shape and it's in. How was it's taken? I'm shit at this. But thing is, I can sit on this, and it's strong enough to be sat on. Um, so it's it's going to serve its job. One pull out bench seat beddy thing. Oh, will be when it's finished with its extra bit. It's, it's got an add-on piece to double the length, which. Still need designing and making. Well, here's where we've got so far. We've got the first bed half in. It's it's expanded a bit from where it was originally going to be. But, um, well, these things happen. <laughs> but now you can see why, if I have the other seat in, why I can only go so far with the bed. And then it just becomes a, a bench seat to sit and have a brew. Um, got this piece here to finally fix so that it can come across from there to here and that way it keeps a couple of finger gap from the door because the door curves and I wanted to boot, not a door, I wanted to keep a, a uniform kind of gap instead of it just being square with no gap there and a big gap here so this bit extends out and angles in uh, this does pull forwards as you'd expect and it comes from there to there which was originally about 13 inches and I think now it's about 11 <coughs> but and it's okay because this side where the cooker goes and the only person who sits in front of cookers well wife and Women have smaller feet, don't they? So she won't need much feet space. And she's tiny anyway. So, and she won't watch this, so I'm not going to get it round back at head. Um, so yeah, that's where we've got to. And um, now I've got to kind of take that seat back out, which you just push that button down there. That seat comes up out the floor, and then I've got to build the next section, which is a bit trickier. Um if I built it this way it would have to expand kind of that way and I mean I could just do one that way but then when you spin that seat round I've got nowhere for my feet and, and not that small so what I'm thinking is a table 
and the table kind of goes between the gaps same as it does in caravans and other vans and little motorhomes and things um, I did have a table I did have a table before in fact there's the leg off my table that's where it kind of sat and that table clipped on that door so when I spin that seat round I could sit there with the table have me brew put my laptop on which would sometimes plug in there or sometimes plug in there and away it went so I think I need to make a new table to suit the new size and it's kind of back to the original design and it's still built from scrap wood same as the original design but it's stronger scrap wood and if you can hear that buzzing that's me that's me with basto under the floor keeping me warm you kind of get used to it. <laughs>